Civil War era, we have a situation. So wait, what? Wait. Yeah! Palmetto in the SC. Sweet! Hell yeah! We're hardcore diggers and we'll do whatever it takes to get to the treasure. Yeah! Our finds are legendary. Yeah! 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 I'm the best. I'm a cover boy. <laughs> We're crisscrossing the country on the ultimate quest. To uncover priceless clues to our nation's past. <laughs> this isn't our job. It's not a hobby. It's, it's our, our life. life. <laughs>
pulled out a nice one. This is, look at the eagle there. That's like Spanish-American war. Just after Civil War. That is nice. Very good. All right, Brian just came over with a sick one, maybe find of the day. Look at this thing. This is, if we can focus, South Carolina. See the Palmetto and the SC? It could be Civil War. Could be a Confederate button to check the back mark on that one. That is a beauty. You know, check this out. I just want to show this quick. This is one of my favorite tools, and this was made for me by one of my female fans. Greta, thanks again. You are awesome, and I love this for bottle dumps and the button dump. Here's a sweet one in my sidewall. Look at this. I recognize this. This is one of those big Marines. And this one isn't even crusty. Hell yeah! Alright, a couple, couple more finds out. Erin has got herself a police cuff. You can see the P in the middle. And I just pulled out a, looks like either it's General Service, Civil War, or it looks like maybe now Chicken Hawk, Spanish-American War. Either way, a couple nice buttons. Yeah! She came all the way from New York to hear me say that. <laughs> Did yeah. you see how I said New York? <laughs> yeah, you dropped the R. <laughs> nice. I'll clean that up. That'll clean up good. Yeah. There may even be a letter in the in the shield there, which would be awesome. Well, this is what the top of the ground looks like. Words can't really describe it. You really got to see it for yourself. Pictures and video really doesn't do it justice. Obviously, there's a lot of plastic ones on top, and we're after the metal militaries and such. Is that it? Look at this. A nice big marine. Look at that. Sick. Ooh. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. Big marine coat. It's the second one I got today, I think. All right, we got a couple more out of the ground. I've got a big coat one that I call a mystery because look at how crusty it is. And it's probably a big great seal or one of those big um, marine coats. Well, Brian got this cool one. And I've this is a new one on me. I've never seen it. R-Y-M Company. Could be some kind of delivery service or railway as well, so nice find. All right, Aaron's calling out post office and let's see. Oh yeah, cuff. See the guy delivering the letter that says POD, post office department. Very nice. Sweet. I see one here that's different, and I believe it is an Air Force. See that? Oh, yeah. It's got the shield and like wings, and see, we're getting rained on. <laughs> Rain don't stop us here at the button dump. Air Force. Sweet. Yeah. Well, this is really cool. I wanted to share something with you. It's not a button, but it's treasure. I came over here to use the men's room along the river, and I looked down, and look at this. This is some crazy old insulator. 
It's a sick blue color. This is what I don't think it's threaded. Oh yeah, look at that. A little chipped on the bottom, but this is what they call a threadless insulator, I think. This is way before those like big skirted ones. Full of bubbles. These are collectible. It's like a light blue color. If it wasn't chipped up on the bottom, the thing would be mint. Sick. Put this thing on eBay. Profit over passion. I know some of these go for big bucks. Sweet. Well, this is a button dump first. Campfire under the along the river. Feels great. Drying us off a little from the weather. Here's some of the finds, some of my recent pulls. I'm really interested to see what that is with the cross cannons there. Alright, we're taking a lunch break here, and Brian uh, has a good haul already. Maybe for an hour or so. Nice haul, a lot of great seals and marines and navy buttons. Very cool. Actually, while I'm rolling, look over here. These blocks were actually part of the original mill that the buttons came from. You can see the pin and feather marks. Okay, rain stopped and we are back at it. And I got a dome shape. And that usually is something different than the great seals. So, let me fingernail this up a little bit. Maybe borrow the toothbrush and I'll get back to you. This looks like something, could be something good. Well, all right, a little bit of forehead oil does it every time. Looks like HES company. And that is a sick one I do not have in my collection. Do now. Yeah! Sweet! Right where I scraped, I saw this upside down button. And uh, look at this. There's something different. There's words there. I thought it was going to be just a common great seal. It looks like it might say something Boston. It says T-O-N symbol in the middle. I'm going to rub this up a little bit and we'll see what we got. Another cool button. Good variety in this hole here. Alright, we cleaned it up a little bit, toothbrushed it, and look at this baby. Newton Police. Newton, Massachusetts, I think. Very cool. Getting variety now. Alright, I just scraped off another layer and look at this. That's another railway. We have a situation. Let's pick this up. This is one that didn't get all crusty because it's in the sandy layer. Let me wipe it on my pants and show you. This is RMR, I think, something RMC. The last star stands for railway, so these are very collectible. Alright, Brian's come over with a really nice navy. Oh, look at the condition of that one. Now, some of these go back to Civil War era, and depending on the back mark. Alright, here's another one. This is a little cuff and another one of those Marines. And just like um, some of the other ones, that the navy ones, 
these also can go back to Civil War depending on the back mark. So that's another nice one. That may go back to Civil War actually. It looks like a gutter back. Civil War era. The right Brian and I would dig in here and look at this. There is one right here. Let's do the reveal on camera. Mm, a great seal, maybe? No, it's another Air Force like I got earlier. Cool, you don't have that one? No. Nope. Very nice. Killing it. Glad to have it. Sweet. All right, I just looked down where we were scraping and I see a button, look at that. Can you see that, folks? That looks like one of those Phoenix buttons, doesn't it? I don't know if it is, but it's something cool. It's something, a metal button. Oh, WTF, it just disintegrated. Oh. <laughs> Cry ya. What the hell? And I just pulled out this one. I know this is. Aaron had a little police one before. This is a big police here. It's a nice find. All right, we are gonna wrap it up. We did a full day at the button dump. We've all got bulging pouches here, full of buttons. Crazy. You see can't see <laughs> well, trust me, it's bulging if you can't see it. Let's see if we can see mine. There you go, for the price of Brian's. Yeah, my pouch is full of metal, military buttons, and police, and everything you saw. And wow, that's a good shot. Look at Brian's pouch. So we. Mm -hmm overflowing so we are gonna get out of here thanks for watching later